Hey everyone, Jay from Slam Academy here talking about Live 11. Perhaps to me, one of the biggest and most kind of stunning additions to Live 11 is the addition of take lanes. If you're working like me in a recording studio that's run using Live, this is a life changer. So let me show you how it works. Here I have a session I recently did in my studio for a string quartet. Now, my old workflow was really quite clunky. What I had to do was set up my instruments and then in a group, and then to do multiple takes, I would duplicate the group. Um, and so you can see here, I have multiple takes of different spots. So let me convert this session into a Live 11 session using take lanes. So now, after I've converted this to Live 11, I only need one group and I can go into each instrument and look at the different takes. Now converting an old session to take lanes is actually really easy. It's just a matter of, of um, kind of dragging stuff around. There's really kind of two ways I found you can do it. You can put your first take as the main track uh, and then each additional take as an additional take lane, or you could put all takes in take lanes like this and then build your master by selecting the best take of each. I haven't decided what works better for me yet. So far, I have kind of one take that is the best take, and I'm putting that in the main track and then using take lanes to patch different sections. Both methods seem to work equally as well. Okay, so let me show you how you can swap out takes. This is really, really slick. So here I have a little viola solo right here. So I'm gonna solo the viola part and let's just listen to what's in my main take here. Okay, so that first note had a little, was a little pitchy. So I'm gonna look at what's in my second take. I'm gonna hear my second take by clicking the audition button here. Okay, let's hear my next one. And then my last one. Okay, the second one, I'm liking a little bit better than the first. Okay, so let's swap this one out uh, for my main one. All I have to do here is select what I want. Let's go all the way to there and then just press return, boom and now it's in the main take that we're gonna hear. Let's hear it. And the way it gets us back into the main take, um, super smooth, no clicks, no nothing. It's brilliant. One thing that I found here is that I'm not really into, you know, coloring all of my tracks, but this is a case where adding colors can be really useful. So if I say like red is my second take and green is my third take and uh, I don't know, blue is my fourth take, then uh, you can see your takes really clearly once you do this. So, um, you know, once you, oops, once you really start getting in there, you can really kind of see your takes, uh, what you've used where, which is a really nice feature. Now, one thing that you might have heard in this session is that there's a lot of bleed between microphones in this session. We didn't close mic the strings here. So when I'm editing one of these tracks, I really kind of want to be editing all of them uh, to match. So that actually brings us to another new feature that we can do in Live 11, to select all the tracks we want and link them together. So link tracks are going to give us uh, the ability to basically edit them all at once. And that includes take lanes. So if I want to take this take from right here uh, in my viola part, um, I, you know, I hit return, but it's also going to take my second take from my cello part, my second violin part and my first violin part. Let's hear it. Okay, so I need to finesse that entry a little bit, but 
um, actually have a little bit of crossfade controls built right in. <laughs> Gorgeous. So let me show you how you would record uh, using take lanes. So I've created a new audio track here, just like normal. So let's solo it and just record my microphone. So hello, 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 bananas, bananas, bananas. Okay. So if I want to do another take, all I really need to do is the same thing again. So let's go back here and let's do a second take. This is number two, bananas. Okay. And let's do a third take. This is take number three, bananas. Okay, now it doesn't look like I did multiple takes, but that's because I'm not showing the takes. So command option U will get you to show see your takes, or you can get the contextual menu over here and show take lanes. And now you can see everything I just recorded and what is making up the actual take. And you can swap out by clicking in here, hitting return, and deciding what you want to take from what. Shift Option T will get you another blank take lane, or again, the contextual menu um, up here will get you insert take lane. Right there will get you another one. You can move things between takes. You keep things nice and organized. It's really quite an amazing system. It's really smooth. It's really slick, It's and it sounds fantastic. So. If you've been begging for a way to do comping in live, now you have it. Live 11's Take Lanes.